I turn around and then I'm looking into the green eyes of the woman I was willing to chase online. That instinct served me well. Better. So much better than the overcautious instincts that trip me up in the store. But the app gave me a second chance to find Bryn and to do things differently. Rather than freeze and stumble, I should move and act. Hi, Bryn, I say, then I lean forward, sweep her hair from the side of her face, and press a soft kiss to her cheek. Good to see you. I whisper like I'm marking her as mine before we even head into the lounge. Her breath catches and she wraps a hand around my arm, squeezing. So good to see you too, Logan. His eyes take a stroll up and down my body. His shameless gaze heats me up, makes my skin tingle and my chest whoosh. His eyes glimmer as he stares, like he's imagining new ways to touch me from head to toe. Then he shakes his head, as if he realized what he was doing. He drags a hand over his hair, swallowing. Sorry. For what? I ask, even though I know the answer. But I also liked his hungry eyes eating me up. For looking at you like that? I didn't mind. Yeah? His voice is rough, husky. I liked it. I like looking at you. And you look stunning today. Very professional and ridiculously sexy. My eyes drift down to his arms. Same to you. Also, nice arm candy. Yet another day. He feared he was losing track of them. That soon he would succumb to the madness that eventually consumed most house cats. Liking their humans. He sensed it happening already. Could tell he'd been softening. Food and companionship were, it pained him to admit, making him weak. Making him actually enjoy human company. He had to stay strong. Had to be ready when the cat revolution arose someday. Had to be ready for freedom. But there were beds in his prison. Soft, comfy beds, perfect for his body. 